first time that I, um, not the first time, but use a collage. Right. We surfaced after many, many, many years of um, not overlaying other pieces over my art. So this is um, mm. kind of uh, special for me. Who did you use for references for this one? Um, it's, you know, different sources, yeah. all different sources. That never used any, there were no models brought into it. It was impossible. Yeah. So the re reference sources came from, um, I mean, it could come from anywhere. I mean, this drummer, I mean, the drumming pose could have come most likely from a male drummer. Yeah, it's kind of a different. The actual song right next to it is that. Yeah, what she did was she took the um, the name of the songs of the period, and that's what she named the poem. Hmm. So she created a poem oh, and she named yeah. it after a song. Yeah. So it's um, one of the signature pieces of the band. So. She was eighty six, okay. and she came down by train. Oh my. And went back because she had a gig that night. Oh wow! Uh, and she still teaches at the new school here in New York City. Incredible! She was amazing, okay. amazing to hear her, and we were all captivated by her stories. Um, and the moderator kept suggesting that she talk about how difficult it was to be in the South in the 1930s and 40s. Right. Um, and traveling throughout the South and how challenging. And she said, hey, look, it was part of our lives. Mm -hmm. I couldn't have hoped for a better time. Wow. Um, and she talked about the joy of making music um, with all this. And he kept sort of, sort of prodding her. And this, this is great. It was, it was full of adventure. Incredible. And it was their lives at the time. They didn't. They yeah. couldn't go back or forward to, to life without that. So. What she did was they managed to make two, and they said, well, what it was like not to be able to get into a hotel, a place to sleep. They said, look, we stayed in people's homes. We had home-cooked meals. We had conversation. Why would we want to stay in a hotel? Mm -hmm. 